Hello, boils and ghouls. It's your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, here. It's been a long time. Your old fiend here had a TV series, Once Upon a Spine, that has since been hacked on DVD. If you enjoy ghouls like I do, then you'll enjoy tonight's tale about a man giving his retro dissect. This is a nasty little nugget I like to call Tales from the Crypt Complete Series Review. Oh man, can't believe that I got this for Christmas. Such an amazing box set. Tales from the Crypt, the complete series on seven DVDs. I want to go over and take a look at this with you guys today. Now, I just want to advise you guys that I got this at Christmas from somebody dressed up as a Santa Claus telling me that if I take this, then it'll be a lot more than what I bargained for. Surely that doesn't mean anything. I should be okay. That's fine. So, I want to take a look at this with you guys. So we got Tales from the Crypt, the complete series DVD box set. This is what the box looks like. And there on the back shows you all the boxes in there with the Crypt Keeper. And just yellow underneath. Uh, before I go all over all of them, um, recently... A buddy of mine uh, oh, on YouTube, um, Phil's Creepy Vids. If you guys have uh, never checked out his channel, please go ahead and check him out. He does a lot of um, hauls. He does a lot of uh, Fright Crate unboxing. He shows off a lot of his uh, horror DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, it's your one stop for horror related uh, stuff. I love watching his videos. And recently he actually did, he went through all, I would say the majority, if not all, of his DVD and Blu-ray collection. And actually, he did showcase this as well. So that kind of gave me a hankering to want to review this for you guys. But if you haven't seen Phil's videos, go check him out. But uh, yeah, so let's get into the box set. Strewn across the table here are all seven seasons. That's what it looks like when you take it out. I'm just going to pop that right here. So let's check out each season individually. So we start off with the complete first season of Tales from the Crypt. On the side, and that's what it looks like on the back. It's got some special features. So it has basically your Tales from the Crypt from comic book to television and some other stuff, which is cool. And you got a little slip inside with the episodes. And the first, first season is only two discs. That's what the first season looks like. Here's the second season. There's a lot more episodes on the second season. And there are uh, three discs in the second season. So that's what the discs look like. They're purple, Vanessa's favorite color. And then of course you have a slip with the episodes, front and back. And you just have a uh, behind the scenes for Tales from the Crypt for this one. You get the third season. So that's what the box looks like. I got, there you go. Special features included. Uh, there's a Tell Tales panel from uh, celebrating the show. There's a Tales from the Crypt reunion, all for both from Comic Con, and then there's the Crypt Jam music video. More on that later. Open it up. Same thing. Three discs, and there's your slip with the episodes. Fourteen episodes on season three. Forgot to mention that season one has six, and season two has eighteen. We move on to season five. Again, 14 episodes. There's the back. Special features include a season four montage. Here is your insert with the episodes. I had this backwards, sorry. And there are the discs, this time blue. So that's season four. Then we get to the fifth season. And there's what the box looks like. On the back, you have a, there you go. Again, another 14 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Or sorry, no, 10 episodes on season five. Special feature includes a um, virtual comic, which is cool. Here is your insert with the episode. And here are, here are the discs. This time a reddish orange color. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the complete sixth season. 
And again, there's, I think, 15 episodes in here. Special features, again, there's another virtual comic book. There's your slip for the episodes. And your discs this time around are a khaki-ish green. So that's season six. And this, unfortunately, was the last of the North American seasons. Because for the final season, Tales from the Crypt transferred over to the UK. Which brings us to the final se season, season seven. And there is your box with the Crypt Keeper, Crypt Keeper in a straight jacket. And we've got the back here. Again, another 13 episodes with a virtual comic book as your special features. Here is your slip. By the way, I should mention... Daniel Craig, one of his first roles was on Tales from the Crypt, James Bond. There you go. And the discs this time around are an orangish color. Perfect for Halloween. Okay, so let's get into some of the other stuff about Tales from the Crypt. The show started in 1990, lasted up until 1996. It ran on HBO for the whole time. Uh, it was distributed by Warner Brothers. It played later at night um, because of the content provided. Now, this was an anthology series. Unlike most uh, horror anthology series that you get today, like I said, most, instead of having one season focusing on a whole story, each and every one of the 97 episodes from Tales from the Crypt were all different episodes with different storylines. And what's cool is the fact that they had a lot of well-known actors and a lot of well-known directors in some cases. Like, you know, you had Robert Zemeckis who directed some episodes. Uh, you had even Tom Hanks who directed an episode. Arnold Schwarzenegger, for fuck's sake, directed an episode once. Even Michael J. Fox directed an episode. But again, you still had a lot of famous celebrities. If you, there's too many of them to mention. I know Brad Pitt was in an episode once. That's how, you know early on that show was, but if you go on Wikipedia or Google or even IMDb Tales from the Crypt episode guide, you'll see a list, a ton of actors that were on the TV show. Now I mentioned a special feature earlier on in one of the seasons of Tales from the Crypt, the Crypt Jam music video. So back in 1992, I believe it was, the creators of Tales from the Crypt thought that it would be a good idea because R&B, hip-hop music had made its explosion in the late 80s, early 90s, which, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge heavy metal fan, punk and, and indie rock as well, but I love me some, some old-school hip-hop and R&B. I, I mean, I'm going to go for that from time to time. So they thought it would be a good idea to make a music, a song, and accompany it with a music video called The Crypt Jam, where the Crypt Keeper raps. Yeah, just imagine, the Crypt Keeper looking at a girl's butt. Well, that, you get that in the music video. <laughs> but all silliness and goofiness like that aside, the show was popular enough to garner a couple, or I should say a few spinoffs, actually. In the mid to late 90s, it spawned three movies. The first being uh, Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight, starring Jada Pinkett Smith and Billy Zane, which underrated horror movie. Go check it out if you can. Then you had uh, Tales from the Crypt Presents Bordello of Blood, which starred a former SNL alum, Dennis Miller, and Corey Feldman, which was a vampire movie. Which... And then in 2003, they put out a movie called Ritual, which wasn't supposed to be a Tales from the Crypt movie. They only attached it last minute because they didn't think the movie was going to do too well, so they figured, hey, let's just attach the Crypt Keeper in there. That's where you have Rastafarian Crypt Keeper. Apart from those movies, uh, the Crypt, Tales from the Crypt did actually spawn a TV series in the early 90s, a kid's show on Saturday mornings. This was uh, enabling them to market this popular beast for children. And I can guarantee you that even though I didn't get into Tales from the Crypt till later on when I was a teenager, I did watch the Tales from the Crypt Keeper cartoon, and I loved every moment of it. Crypt Keeper was... Just as goofy and silly as in the live-action series, if you believe it or not. Just that he was cartoon and he was green in this one. And the tales in the Tales from the Crypt Keeper episodes were actually more, a lot more supernatural and things like that, opposed to the TV show, which had a couple of few episodes that were supernatural. It was mainly about murder and carnage. 
but the TV series dealt more with the supernatural elements. It, it actually became so popular, and they were able to do so that they even got licensing and, and, and created merchandise for toys to sell to kids. Imagine having a toy of the Crypt Keeper on your shelf. Well, I mean, I would love to have one, that's for sure. Now, I have to say, I want to talk about some of the episodes. It would be a lot too difficult for me to narrow down my top 15, my top 10, or my even my top 5 favorite episodes from Tales from the Crypt. My personal favorite episodes per season. So starting with season 1, uh, there's And All Through the House, a story about an escaped maniac dressed as Santa Claus. Then there's Dig That Cat, He's Real Gone, starring Joe Pantoliano as a guy who gets nine lives, just like a cat. Going on to season two, there's Cutting Cards, which stars Lance Henriksen. Great episode. The Thing from the Grave, which stars Terry Hatcher. For Crying Out Loud, which was a fantastic episode. If, if you're a rock fan, go check that one out. Corman's Calamity, about a Tales from the Crypt uh, artist working on a comic book. Really, really good episode. Uh, Mute Witness to Murder. That episode right there is probably one of my all-time favorites. It's got you in suspense the whole way through. Great episode. And uh, finally for season two, there's uh, Television Terror. To get to season three, one of my all another one of my all-time favorite episodes is Abracadabra. Stars Jeff Bridges' brother. Oh man, the storyline for this is, again, another one of those that you're just sitting there. Edge of your seat the whole episode. The Reluctant Vampire, which stars Malcolm McDowell and uh, anything with him I'm going to check out. Easel Kill Ya, starring Tim Roth, an underrated British actor. Great episode. Morning Mess and Yellow, which uh, is about the world, Second World War, has nothing to do with horror or anything like that. It's just about a uh, soldier who's trying to prove that he wasn't a coward and he's not put on trial. Great episode. Season 4, This'll Kill Ya, starring Dil uh, Dylan McDermott. What's Cookin', starring Christopher Reeves. That was a good one, too. It's too bad that he passed too early. We have The New Arrival. This episode messes with your mind a little bit. Werewolf Concerto, about a group isolated in a, ho a hotel or a resort trying to find out, find, uh, on a hunt for a werewolf. And then we have Curiosity Killed. For season five, uh, my favorite episodes from that are um, Death of Some Salesman, Tim Curry in a father, mother, and daughter role. Check it out if you can. House of Horror, which is basically your typical campy horror story. It's fucking awesome. Came the Dawn, which is a vampire story. And Halfway Horrible. In season six, there's an episode called Only Skin Deep, which is about a man who meets a woman, looks like she's wearing a slipknot mask. The whole episode long, he thinks she's wearing a mask. Oh, it's spine tingling. Stared in horror about a uh, convict who runs away uh, from the uh, from the law, meets a woman who's elderly and meets her daughter. I can't say too much, but it's pretty good too. Of in the groove about a radio station DJ who wants to kill his sister. It's not the best episode. It's not even that great, but just call me a fan of Slash because he makes an appearance in it. That's why I like the episode. Then we have Surprise Party, another really good spooky episode. Comes the Dawn which is another good one. You Murderer, which was directed by Robert Zemeckis and takes the likeness of Humphrey Bogart in his perspective. John Lithgow was in it too. Fantastic episode. And for the final season where I went to the UK, it wasn't the greatest season ever, but it, did, it still had its moments, apart from Daniel Craig getting one of his uh, first roles in there. Uh, so there's A Slight Case of Murder, which is about a horror writer in some sort of bizarre love triangle. It's basically... A, your typical Agatha Christie, Christie type thing. It's really cool. Uh, there's Horror in the Night, which is about a hitman who escapes to a hotel. Spooky things start happening to him. Pretty good episode. Cold War, which stars Ewan McGregor as a ghoul. It's just funny, the episode. It's really good. Report from the Grave. Honestly, that one gave me a lot of chills. Uh, I you just, just check it out. It's really good. Confession about a cop interrogating a man who they believed did a murder, starring Eddie Izzard as the uh, interrogee. And uh, the ending is a twist that leaves you surprised. And, uh, of course, the final episode of the series, The Third Pig, which is the only animated uh, episode of Tales from the Crypt, which has voice actors from a lot of cartoons from the 80s. 
If you could just, if you could, if you can even go on YouTube and check out the third pig from Tales from the Crypt, it's pretty good. There's no cursing whatsoever. Well, there's a little bit, but it's pretty fucking awesome. It's out of place and it's great to check out. I think I covered everything with Tales from the Crypt. Uh, like I said, I got this from a Santa Claus. At least I think he was Santa Claus. I have no fucking clue. I'm still a little confused and worried about what he meant by uh, what he told me. But yeah, no, honestly, you can still get this uh, now. It's still in print. It's a little bit of a hefty price. Uh, I know most stores sell it for close to $200 for the complete series. You can even probably find on Amazon the individual season. Sometimes they come packed as two for like $20 to $25. But if you're interested, it's a great value for everything you get. You get the complete series in a really cool looking box with the Crypt Keeper. And it's just completely worth it. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like Tales from the Crypt, if you're a fan of Tales from the Crypt. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, my friend uh, Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids, go check him out. Show him some support. Great guy. I'll be back again. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And as always, guys, it's cool. Someone's at the door. Hang on a second. Let me go check that out. I'll be right back. Hello? I've come to collect. No, 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 no! Poor Boomer. I guess it was too much for his the fright. But hacks off to him. He takes his best stab at achieving his screams.